creating a event system. Um, so we're just going to be using the Alpine event system, which we got in our Pomda XML last video. If you haven't watched the last video, I really recommend you do so to get everything set up and ready, because obviously you can't make a client without having everything set up. We're going to be making an event system, uh, and we're going to be making it so that we will detect when a player uh, presses a key and we'll just send them the key that they pressed along with we'll just be making a event 2d which will help us render things onto the screen let's go ahead and just i guess get right into it so we're going to go to tutorial here and make a new uh, package named event inside of that make a new java class named event and we'll just have this extends cancelable event from um alpine and we'll just close out of that and then make a new package named impl for implements and we'll do event 2d extends events i'm just gonna copy this extends event here we're gonna make two more events event key extends event oh, extends event and one more event update extends event there we go uh, that's all we need for those classes and we're going to hook them in just a second but first we have to register all the events in our main class here which for me is tutorial in the next video we're going to actually be using these events in a real module system um, but for now i just want to show you how to get the event system done so okay so we're going to do public static final but oh event bus bus equals event manager dot builder then dot set is it set name and yep it is so we're gonna do root slash tutorial uh make your um tutorial right here um whatever you named this class here under java source main java and then dot set super listeners and then finally dot build and then in it we're just going to say uh, bus dot subscribe this no nope. why is this not mm, and then okay well we'll just do bus dot unsubscribe this okay I'm honestly not sure why this is airing out let's see if the client still runs Okay, it does, it does not, oh, we need to, uh, public unum tutorial, implement subscriber, right, you're gonna have to implement subscriber for wherever you want to use your events, so, my bad. Um, the next step is, let's go ahead and register these, um, events we made into Minecraft's code, so that we can actually trigger them. Okay, so we're gonna go to GUI in game, and we're going to go down to, what is it, line... Uh, this line, line 330, we'll just type slash e, uh, tutorial, tutorial start, tutorial end. Now we're going to say tutorial dot bus dot post new event 2D. Uh, and there we go. Actually, what one thing I want to do is I want for event 2D, in the future, we're going to be using scaled resolution for it. So here I'm just going to say at getter private final scaled resolution SR uh, at all args constructor, constructor. And here I'm just going to pass in, there's the, oh, there's already scaled resolution there. Um, because in the future, we're going to want to use event 2D to position GUIs and everything. Great, so now let's move on to the next one, which seems to be event key. Okay, so we're going to go here. Actually, we need to get the key that was pressed. So there, uh, at getter, at all args constructor, private find int key. There we go. Um, and then inside of inside of Minecraft.java, we're going to search for if k equals equals one right here at line 1805 we're going to just do tutorial start tutorial end and just say same thing 
no, 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 no. Tutor tutorial dot bus dot post new event key and pass in K, which is the key that was pressed. And now, last but not least, event update. On update, we're going to go to entity player SP. No. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Entity player SP. And we're going to look for on update right here. Uh, we're going to just say slash slash tutorial start tutorial tutorial end and last but not least um tutorial dot bus dot post new event update we don't need any arguments for that great so now all of our events are registered now let's actually go ahead and use them let's just do this in the uh main class for now we will be putting this in a module um i think next video um but you know we obviously don't have modules right now so we're going to do at subscribe make sure it's from the alpine one private final listener of type event 2d um event 2d listener equals new listener and then we're going to just pass an e for a lambda and there we go now um here's our event 2d listener so okay and then we're just going to say uh public no, we're okay. Private final Minecraft MC equals Minecraft. I'll get Minecraft. Private final font render FR is equal to MC dot font render object. And then here we're just going to say FR dot draw string. Uh, here, we'll do alf no, no, tutorial client. Put that at two, two, and negative, oh, and negative one gl 11 push matrix gl 11 gl pop matrix gl 11 gl scaled to to uh no 1.75 1.75 1 and 1.75 and let's actually make this one and one and then we when we run the client and then when we run the client there you go you see tutorial client right there um i'm gonna actually make this a bit smaller there we go. So now that is proving to you that the event system working, I'm just going to copy this real quick and make a event key listener, event key. And then we're just going to say MC dot the player dot send chat message E dot get key. And then you pressed E dot get key. There we go. And when we run the client, when we press any key, you'll, oh, so it's actually displaying the integer key codes. Um, it works, but keys are not stored in like W-A-S-D-I-O-K-L. They're actually stored in integers, um, but this is working. All right, that's it for this uh, video. If you want, you can test the event update too. And I'll just get called every, I think every frame. Um, in the next video, we're going to be making a module system. Um, we'll probably be making a toggle sprint, maybe a fly, and we'll be putting this um, watermark inside of a HUD module. Um, I'll probably release that video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you next time.